100 of the most incredible discoveries that may surprise you. Finds from the Second World War, after which the world will no longer be the same. A shocking discovery by archaeologists, alien objects, mysterious pyramids discovered in the most unusual corners of our planet. A documentary that will change the way our history is perceived. Make yourself some tea and enjoy watching. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. In the Bronze Age, they traded cities. The noisy earthquake in Turkey in 2023 brought not only destruction, but also discovery. In Karamanmaraş, where everything happened, there was an ancient mound of Telhachin. There once was the city of Alalak, a real center of the Bronze Age. Alalak was found in the 2nd millennium BC. It was part of the Amhad, the gigantic empire of that era. Palaces stood there as early as 2000 BC. Immediately, the mysterious Yerim Lim come across our eyes. Who is he? Brother? Son? This question has plagued scholars for a long time, until recent findings point to his fraternal relationship with the ruler of Yamhad. And so, after the earthquake, archaeologists discovered a clay tablet. It's got cuneiform on it. It was an agreement on the sale of an entire city. And what is most interesting, the buyer was our Yarim Lim guy. It looks like an old receipt from a store that hasn't been opened yet. For a long time, it was thought that cities were donated or exchanged, but not sold. This blade changes everything. Erotic Graffiti On the island of Asipalaya in Greece, unique archaeological artifacts were found. Some of the oldest erotic carvings and descriptions of intimate relationships between men dating back to 5th 6th centuries BC. This discovery was made by Dr. Andreas Flahopoulos during an excursion with students. The limestone slabs depict male genitals and nearby are engraved inscriptions in ancient Greek. Nikasidim was here writing Timian, which emphasizes the openness and detail of the depiction of sexual scenes. These finds reveal a personal, intimate side of the life of the ancient Greeks about which not much is known. Relationships between men in ancient Greece were generally accepted, but rarely discussed in public. The images and inscriptions are made in the style of the time, using the Greek alphabet, which makes them important evidence of the cultural and social life of the era. Over the two millennia that the graffiti has been exposed to the open air, it has been remarkably well preserved, withstanding weather and erosion. Underground Factories in Germany, the remains of underground factories under the Nazi regime have been discovered, where V-2 rockets and other military equipment were developed and produced using forced labor from concentration camp prisoners. These factories, hidden deep underground, were created to ensure the continuation of war production in the face of Allied bombing. Exploring these underground complexes opens up new insights into the scope and methods used by Nazi Germany in its attempts to achieve technological superiority during in the war. The discoveries highlight the brutality of the regime, demonstrating that the Nazis did not stop at the massive use of slave labor to achieve their goals. These underground factories became a grim symbol of the industrialization of war crimes and the extreme measures the Nazis resorted to in their pursuit of victory. Burning Youth Over Canada 2018, Quebec. While on a walk and enjoying their vacation, the family noticed a strange object in the sky and decided to film it. An inexplicably shaped object was slowly rotating, glowing with green and bright red lights. Casual spectators were amazed, realizing that they had witnessed something truly strange and unusual. At first glance, it might seem that this is a spaceship burning fuel while gaining altitude. Canada is one of the few countries that officially records UFO data. As they collect data, they publish surprising findings and images, causing skeptics to doubt that humanity is the only superior race in the universe. The object caught in the video has no visible means of movement and exhibits anti-gravity properties, hovering in the air for some time. The absence of wings and exhaust gases proves that this is not an aircraft. Some skeptics tried to justify this was natural phenomena as an optical illusion, but on this day the weather was beautiful and it was clearly noticeable that this object was three-dimensional. A closed gas suggests that the object was a hot air balloon with a mirror surface. But is this true? Perhaps we are simply denying the obvious, afraid to admit that aliens exist and they are already among us. Enigma Machine the Enigma machine is one of the most iconic symbols of cryptography of the 20th century. 
Created by German engineer Arthur Scherbius after World War I, it was originally intended for commercial use but was quickly adopted by the military as a primary tool for encrypting communications. Enigma is an electromechanical device based on a complex system of rotating drums and electrical circuits. Each key press caused the reels to rotate, creating a new encryption each time. Thanks to the huge number of possible settings, more than 150 quintillion combinations, Enigma seemed like an impenetrable fortress. At the height of World War II, such was the importance of breaking Enigma codes to the Allies that a team of leading mathematicians and cryptographers, including Alan Turing, was assembled at Blatchley Park in the UK. Turing and his colleagues developed a series of devices known as bombs that were able to automate the process of breaking Enigma codes, greatly speeding it up. After the war, Enigma machines and stories about their hacking were shrouded in many legends and myths, becoming a symbol of intellectual confrontation in times of global conflict. Today, Enigma exhibits can be seen in museums around the world, recalling the complexity of war, the importance of intelligence, and the invaluable contribution of scientists to the victory over Nazism. Proof of Cannibalism the next story will be somewhat creepy, but quite real. Let's dive into ancient history 1.45 million years ago and get ready to learn an amazing story about cannibalism among ancient people. Scientists have found traces on the ancient bone that look like someone has eaten a hominin's foot. And most surprisingly, the culprit apparently was not a wild animal, but a brother in mind. This is the oldest evidence of cannibalism. The bone was found in Kenya. It belonged to an unknown relative of a man who lived here in ancient times. Scientists from the Smithsonian Institution conducted a thorough analysis of this ancient crime using 3D technology. Although our ancestors were high in the food chain, they were sometimes preyed upon by other animals, but unfortunately, cases of cannibalism among them were not so rare. The researchers initially expected to find marks from the teeth of wild animals, but instead found clearly artificial cuts. Often such traces testified to ritual burials or the manufacture of jewelry from bones, but in this case, everything points to the fact that the bone was processed for food. It's still hard to say for sure, after all, the bones of ancient people could be processed for different purposes and we may be mistaken in their interpretation. This find suggests that hominins could well have been cannibals as early as 1.45 million years ago. A little scary, right? But such is our history. Metal Doors Inside the Rock since the beginning of the 21st century, numerous stories and rumors have surrounded the construction of the Baikal Amur mainline in Russia, some of which surprisingly have a basis in reality. During active work on this railway line, workers encountered anomalies and paranormal phenomena, causing many to call the line ghost. Among the stories, a special place is occupied by stories about the ghost of the railway, a train passing by without a sound, which was witnessed by builders and local residents. Scientists believe the origin of these stories may be linked to events in the 1940s when prisoners hijacked a steam locomotive during an uprising and an escape attempt. The BAM tunnels were not spared from mysteries, in particular the Severomuisky Tunnel, the construction of which took more than 25 years due to unexpected surprises that posed new challenges for the builders. The mysteries associated with these structures, including stories of a white shaman who foreshadows disasters, only enhanced the aura of mysticism around the highway. At every step, builders faced new obstacles that required immediate solutions. One of the most intriguing moments was the discovery of a metal door in one of the sections of the tunnel after the breakthrough of an underground spring, which led to the death of 30 people. The door, which became a real mystery, remained an unsolved secret as did the strange sounds coming from underground, reminiscent of knocking. Attempts to explain these phenomena range from speculation about high concentration of radon gas, which can cause audio hallucinations, to stories of evil spirits living in the depth of the tunnel. Additional intrigue is brought by the Devil's Bridge, part of the same highway famous for its secrets and myths. Despite all the technical and mystical difficulties, the Severomuisky Tunnel and the Devil's Bridge remain the most important structures of the BAM, and the stories associated with them continue to excite the minds of both specialists and travelers. Answers to many questions have not yet been found, and each new riddle only deepens the mystery of these places. Collection of Paintings 
In 2012, a discovery in Munich shocked the global creative community. A billion-dollar collection of paintings confiscated by the Nazis was found in a modest-sized apartment. Among the works were works by such masters as Marc Chagall, Pablo Picasso and Henri Matisse. This collection represents lost treasures of European art, many of which were thought lost for decades. The paintings fell into the hands of the Nazis as a result of a massive campaign to confiscate works of art that the regime considered degenerate or belonging to Jewish families. Many of these works were confiscated from their owners in the pre-war and war years, and after the war they were considered lost or destroyed. The discovery of this collection was made possible thanks to the investigative actions of the German authorities, who were investigating a case of tax fraud. The investigation led to a search of the apartment where these priceless works of art were discovered. The collection included both well-known masterpieces and lesser-known works that are nevertheless of great artistic and historical value. The find caused an international national outcry because it raised questions about ownership, restitution and moral responsibility. For many descendants of Jewish families, stripped of their treasures by the Nazis, the discovery offered hope for the return of lost works of art that had become a symbol of their history and heritage. Yamashita's Gold one of the most fascinating and mysterious stories associated with World War II is the legend of Yamashita's gold. This story begins with Japanese general Tamayuki Yamashita, who according to numerous accounts, was able to amass vast treasures captured during Japanese military campaigns throughout Southeast Asia. Legends claim that at the end of the war, foreseeing inevitable defeat, Yamashita and his subordinates hid these treasures in various places in the Philippines. Since then, Yamashita's gold has been the subject of numerous expeditions and searches, attracting treasure hunters, historians and adventurers from all over the world. But no expedition has so far been able to find definitive evidence of the existence of these treasures. The legend of Yamashita's gold was surrounded by layers of myths and speculation. It is said that among the hidden wealth were not only gold and precious stones, but also artifacts of incredible historical and cultural value. According to one version, the Japanese command used a complex system of codes and maps to designate the locations of the treasures many of which were lost or destroyed in the last days of the war. In attempts to unravel the mystery of Yamashita's gold, dozens of expeditions were undertaken, some of which ended in tragedies and even deaths. This highlights the dangers of treasure hunting and the difficulty of searching in the jungle and mountainous regions of the Philippines. The story of Yamashita's gold continues to inspire new generations of explorers. It reminds us that many secrets of the Second World War are still unrevealed, and who knows, maybe one day some someone will be able to solve the mystery and discover the lost treasures. Supernatural Destruction of Mahenjo Daro in 1922, an officer from the Archaeological Survey of India, along with the Buddhist monk, went to the area which turned out to be a religious monument. Instead of mounds of mud and stones, an entire Bronze Age city with a grid of streets, complex drainage systems and flush toilets was discovered in Sindh, modern-day Pakistan. The city was part of the Harappan civilization, which reached its peak 5,000 years ago and ceased to exist around 1,900 BC. The Mount of the Dead is the legacy of one of the oldest civilizations. The inhabitants of Mohenjo-daro were in no way inferior to Egypt and ancient Mesopotamia. Once upon a time, this region was inhabited by about 35,000 people, but archaeologists managed to find only 43 skeletons that have survived to this day. The city's disappearance was mysterious, but in 1977, a British researcher discovered evidence suggesting that it was caused by a massive explosion. Melted rocks and calcified skeletons suggested the inhabitants of Mohenjo-daro died instantly. In 2014, a doctor of mineralogy conducted a series of analysis and tests which suggests a connection between the Harappan civilization and aliens. This is indicated not only by the high level of development of the local residents, but also by the fact that they burned at a temperature of several thousand degrees. There were no volcanoes here, and the technology to reach such temperatures did not exist. Vampires in Poland the remains of a 17th-century child have been found at an archaeological site in Poland with a lock on his leg. The researchers think that the locals were afraid that this child might come to life like a vampire. In the Middle Ages in Europe, many believed in vampires and used various methods to keep the dead in the grave. Recently, archaeologists, including Darius Polinski of the Nicholas Copernicus University, discovered an unusual burial near Dabrowa Chalmanska in Poland. It was a woman with a lock on her leg and a 
sickle around her neck. And here is a new discovery, a vampire. The child was only 5 or 7 years old when he passed away. He was buried face down as if his activities were feared even in death. In the Middle Ages, such burials were made so that the deceased bite the ground and did not threaten people. In nearby, they found a cluster of skeletons of other children and a fragment of a jaw with a green tint. Most likely, a copper object was placed in the mouth of the deceased, hence this color. Burials in the Katyn Forest the discovery of mass graves in the Katyn Forest near Smolensk, which in Russia, still causes a lot of controversy. In 1943, German troops advancing on the Soviet Union discovered numerous graves of Polish officers. The Soviet Union denied any involvement, saying the Nazis were to blame. According to the official version of Western countries, in 1940, on the orders of the top leadership of the USSR, thousands of Polish officers, police officers, scientists, and public figures captured during the Soviet invasion invasion of Poland in September 1939 were executed. These massacres, carried out by the NKVD, became known as the Katyn Massacre. This discovery caused a wide international resonance, becoming an important argument in accusing the Stalinist regime of committing war crimes. For Poland, Katyn became a symbol of national tragedy and betrayal by the Soviet government, with which they had previously been considered allies. However, not everything is so simple. There is another opinion with supporting documents regarding this tragic event. In 1943, when the Nazis were defeated in the Battle of Stalingrad, the leadership of the Third Reich, and in particular the most powerful propaganda machine of the time in the person of Goebbels, had a desire to carry out an internal split. The Nazis themselves shot the Polish officers and allegedly discovered them themselves. This was done in order to point out Stalin's repressions and to antagonize the Allies among themselves. However, some Polish journalists did not believe the Nazis and conducted their own investigation. Some of the documents confirming the Nazi crime were prepared for the Nuremberg Tribunal, where the Nazis were tried. However, under strange circumstances, everyone who at least somehow tried to whitewash the Stalinist regime of that time began to die. Surprisingly, documents and everyone who was somehow involved in the investigation of this tragedy disappeared. Nevertheless, the Nuremberg International Military Tribunal indicted Hermann Göring, Nazi No. 2, and Alfred Jodl, the acting chief Wehrmacht High Command, for the Katyn crime. These are documented facts. It is difficult to believe that the Soviet army was involved in this execution because the Nazi allies also had a more terrible tragedy involving the Poles. This is the Volin massacre, which many are now trying not to remember. Moreover, this event is maximally confirmed and documented throughout the world. Treasures of Ancient Burials at the northern Taosi Cemetery in Shanxi, China, archaeologists have discovered unique bronzes and burials dating back to the spring and autumn period 770-481 BC, a key era in Chinese history. The first mention of the cemetery appeared in 2014 after the arrest of tomb robbers. New excavations have uncovered five tombs from this era associated with the spring and autumn chronicles, a historical text attributed to Confucius. One of the tombs, designated 2015M1, contained various bronze objects including tripods, cauldrons, mirrors, and bells. Barrels of a man and a woman were also found in a chamber with two-story platforms decorated with funerary gifts. These finds have characteristics associated with the Jin dynasty and demonstrate connections to Chu and Kila culture, highlighting the cultural and technological interaction of the regions. Churchill's Secret Bunker in 2020, researchers in the UK made a surprising discovery when they discovered one of the secret bunkers built to support Churchill's secret army, the existence of which few knew. This army, known as the Auxiliaries, was created at the beginning of the Second World War as an underground resistance in the event of a successful German invasion of Great Britain. The bunker, found deep in the English countryside, was one of around 500 similar structures located across the country. It was a fortified underground shelter equipped with everything necessary for a long stay, from places to sleep to warehouses with weapons and ammunition. The bunkers were intended for small groups of armed civilians who were supposed to carry out sabotage, intelligence, and reconnaissance behind enemy lines in the event of occupation. These secret units were formed at the initiative of Winston Churchill, who insisted on creating a resistance network capable of providing significant resistance to the Nazi invaders. The participants in this network were recruited from among especially reliable and physically prepared citizens and underwent specialized training. 
Hitler's Bunker. Hitler's Bunker, known as the Führer Bunker, was Adolf Hitler's final refuge during the height of World War II and the final days of his life. Located deep underground in the center of Berlin, this bunker was part of a vast underground network designed to protect the Nazi leadership from Soviet bombing. Construction of the Führer Bunker began in 1936 and was completed in 1944, when it became clear when the war was moving toward an inevitable end. The bunker consisted of two separate parts, the old part built in 1936 and the new, deeper and fortified part added in 1944. The internal space included living quarters, conference rooms, places for work and recreation, as well as the necessary infrastructure for a long stay on the ground. In April 1945, as the Red Army tightened its ring around Berlin, Hitler moved to the Führer bunker where he spent the last weeks of his life. Many high-ranking Nazi officials and their families were also evacuated here. Despite the fact that the bunker was equipped with modern life support systems at that time, the conditions inside were far from comfortable due to overcrowding, lack of air and constant noise from artillery shelling. On April 30th, 1945, realizing the inevitability of defeat and fearing being captured by Soviet troops, Hitler committed suicide by taking poison and simultaneously shooting himself in the head. His body, as well as the body of Eva Braun, who became his wife a day before his death, were burned in the garden of the Reich Chancellery not far from the entrance to the bunker. After the war, the area where the bunker was located came under East German control. The remains of the bunker were partially destroyed and filled up. The site of Hitler's former hideout today houses ordinary residential development, as well as an information board telling about its story. The site remains a source of interest to researchers, tourists, and those seeking to understand the final days of one of the darkest periods in human history. Is the Alaskan Triangle a secret alien base? The Alaska Triangle is a sparsely populated area located between Juneau, Anchorage, and the small town of Barrow. According to official data, more than 20,000 people have disappeared in this analog of the Bermuda Triangle since 1970. Researchers claim strange paranormal activity, and some believe that aliens live here, having set up secret underground bases. By being close to humans, aliens can spy on military technology, which points to a number of strange events and an increase in UFO sightings after World War II. The disappearance of 44 military personnel and a Douglas C-54 aircraft can only confirm this assumption, since search and rescue operations did not yield any results. It would seem that all this is baseless speculation, but in 1995, declassified documents revealed that the highest point of the Alaskan Triangle, Mount Hayes, was mentioned in a top-secret government project called Stargate. The documents not only talk about aliens, but also claim that their base was located under the base of the mountain. No one was physically there, but the CIA used an experimental research technique called remote viewing. The psychic projection method allowed people with supernatural abilities to look into any place without physically leaving the CIA building. While working on the project, the one who stood out the most was a psychic named Pat Price. He became the first to confirm the presence of aliens hiding deep under a mountain in the middle of Alaska. The psychic's predictions were amazingly accurate, as were the drawings of what lay beneath Mount Hayes. The alien base had a clear structure consisting of tunnels and the CIA agents knew about it. Soon after what he saw, Pat began to fear for his life, telling his loved ones that he had put himself in danger. Unfortunately, the psychic turned out to be right, and he was accidentally pushed in Las Vegas Hotel. The acute pain in the leg was not cause for concern, but the man died the next morning. What is equally astonishing, that the hospital did not notify the relatives of what had happened, but simply cremated the body. Pickled Mummy Researchers have found that the mummy, dubbed the mysterious lady, retained a small fetus for more than 2,000 years. Their discovery is based on CT scan data and was published in the journal Archaeological Science. The mysterious lady is not just a mummy, she was pregnant at the time of her death and was part of the Thebes community. Her age at death is estimated to be between 20 and 30 years old, and the fetus was between 26 and 30 weeks old. And this is the only known case of a pregnant mummy that has undergone the process of embalming. 
Surprisingly, until last summer, no one knew about the fetus in her womb. Previous X-ray studies did not detect it because its bones mineralized. Turns out that the mysterious lady didn't die in childbirth. Her body was treated with natron, a type of salt that dries out the body and acts as a disinfectant. And the fetus remained untouched by those who mummified the body, which allowed the womb to remain in perfect condition. Because of this, the researchers found that the blood in the fetus became more acidic as the levels of ammonia and formic acid increased, leading to bone mineralization. And since the womb remained hermetically sealed, the fetus kind of marinated, remaining there for more than 2,000 years. However, the question remains, why did the embalmers leave the fetus in the body when all other organs had been removed? Livendol in 1877, Thomas Addison created something unique and unusual, a talking doll, which became one of his most extraordinary inventions. Weighing less than 2 kilograms with a porcelain hat and wooden limbs, this doll contained a miniature version of a phonograph that could produce sound by turning a knob. But instead of becoming a charming entertainment, it caused many people to be rather alarmed by its unusual feature. Edison presented his invention as the latest electric fad, capable of speaking phrases or singing songs thanks to a phonograph built into its torso. To record the sounds, a team of women was brought in to record various phrases and melodies, but unfortunately, the dolls turned out to be not as durable as expected and could not withstand the active play of children, which often led to breakdown of the mechanism. In 1889, Edison faced complaints about the fragility of the wax plates used, which confirmed the need to refine the design to increase its reliability. However, production turned out to be unprofitable and by 1890, costs exceeded $50,000 forcing the Edison and phonograph toy manufacturing company to discontinue production of these dolls. Edison's failure in this direction did not in any way affect public opinion since even with the high cost of dolls, many would prefer to spend money on other toys. Interestingly, the scary image of a talking doll may have inspired many horror stories and creepypastas where sinister dolls became central characters. Operation Bernard Operation Bernard was one of the most ambitious and secret operations of World War II carried out by Nazi Germany to destabilize the economies of the Allied countries through the mass production of counterfeit banknotes. The main purpose of the operation was to flood the British and American markets with counterfeit pounds and dollars, which was supposed to lead to inflation and undermine confidence in the national currency. Launched in 1942 under the leadership of the SS, the operation exploited the talents of concentration camp prisoners skilled artists, printers and bankers who were promised better conditions in exchange for their participation in the production of counterfeits. The center of the operation was a secret printing press in the Sachsenhausen concentration camp, where perfect copies of British pounds and later American dollars were created. The quality of the fakes was so high that even experts had difficulty identifying them. Fake pound sterling are considered some of the best counterfeits in history and some remain in circulation for many years after the war. It was planned that counterfeit money would be used to finance espionage operations in enemy territory as well as to purchase valuables and strategic goods in neutral countries. However, despite the successful production of large quantities of counterfeit currency, plans for mass distribution were not fully realized due to logistical and strategic issues. The end of the war and the fall of Nazi Germany brought an end to Operation Bernard, but the effects of the campaign were felt for many years to come. The discovery of huge quantities of counterfeit banknotes after the war prompted the need to update security measures and money-making technologies. Odessa Catacombs Huge underground labyrinths are hidden underground in Odessa. The year the first day of people in it is considered to be 1813. This is the year written on the wall. During these years, there was a plague epidemic in the city. Perhaps the catacombs served as a shelter for local residents. During World War II, when the city was occupied from 1941 to 1944, these dark and labyrinthine dungeons became a secret hideout for partisan heroes. Imagine a network of underground paths more than 2,500 kilometers long 
Ceylon where you can get lost like in a huge anthill. It was here in the dark and cold that the partisans set up their secret bases. They lived in these dungeons, planned attacks on the enemy, and even printed leaflets calling on people to resist. The catacombs were an ideal place for secretive fighting. The enemy could not easily find or capture them. The partisans used their knowledge of underground labyrinth to shock the enemy, suddenly appearing where they were not expected and disappearing without a trace. It was dark, damp, and very difficult to live in these dungeons, but thanks to the courage and resourcefulness of the partisans, the catacombs became one of the symbols of the unbroken spirit of Odessa. In fact, the history of these labyrinths is so ancient that it has even acquired some legends, one of which says that in the depth of the catacombs lives a short man covered with wool. To survive, he eats bats. Lorenz Cipher Machine the Lorenz cipher machine, used during World War II by the Nazi German High Command to transmit secret messages, is one of the most sophisticated cryptographic devices of its time. Unlike the more famous Enigma, intended for field communications, the Lorenz machine served to protect strategically important communications between senior leaders of the Wehrmacht and the government. The Lorenz encryption system was so complex that it took the LS considerable time and effort to break it. The work of British cryptographers at Bletchley Park including Bill Tutt, Max Newman, and Alan Turing, led to the creation of one of the world's first electronic computing devices, the Colossus, designed specifically to decipher Lorenz messages. The first opportunity to hack Lorenz appeared due to a mistake by a German operator who sent the same long message twice with minor changes and the same encryption key. This mistake gave cryptographers a unique chance to understand the logic of the machine and develop a technique for breaking it. A physical copy of the Lorenz machine was an extremely rare trophy. The story of how one of these machines was found in a river in Britain after the war adds intrigue to the history of British cryptography. The discovery allowed the researchers to directly experience a technique that they had previously only been able to study theoretically. Today, the Lorenz machine and the story of its hacking are evidence not only of the intellectual confrontation during the war, but also tell the story of the birth of the era of computer technology. Work on deciphering Lorenz contributed to the development of computer technology and formed the basis of modern and information security. Dead Sea Scrolls the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls in 1947 by Bedouins in the Caves of Qumran, located on the northwest coast of the Dead Sea, was one of the most significant archaeological events of the 20th century. These ancient texts, dating from the period between the 3rd century BC and the 1st century AD, shed light on many aspects of the religious life, history and culture of the ancient Near East, as well as the development of the texts of the Bible. The scrolls contain more than 800 documents, including copies of all the books of the Hebrew Bible, except the Book of Esther, apocryphal works that are not included in the canon of the Bible, and texts relating to the rules and beliefs of a Jewish sect, probably the Assay who lived at Qumran. The discovery was a sensation because these texts predate any previously known copies of the Bible by a thousand years, providing a unique opportunity to study the development of the biblical texts and the religious views of that time. Are aliens sending signals from space? With the development of modern technologies, humanity began to study not only the surrounding space, but also outermost space. Technological progress does not stand still, and new inventions make it possible to obtain more and more information about how this world works. Scientists have repeatedly received signals from space that are of a strange nature. Some of them took decades to study, which is intriguing and suggests that aliens living somewhere far away are trying, living somewhere far away are trying to contact us. The the strangest and most mysterious signal received from space was a radio signal emanating directly from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. In 2020, astronomers around the world were stumped when an Australian radio telescope identified more than 2 million objects sending signals to Earth. The computer qualified all radio signals except one. An unknown object lurking at the center of our galaxy was emitting powerful radio waves, sending out six signals in nine months. The irregular structure and polarized radio emission were unlike any previous signal. Equally strange is that the object cannot be seen with X-ray or infrared light. Two powerful radio telescopes observed it all this time, but the object mysteriously disappeared. It would seem that this is where the story ends, but a year later, the strange radio signal was repeated and disappeared again a day later. This atypical behavior suggests that this is not a dead star or other space object known to mankind. Stumped, scientists classified the rare signal into a category 
category called Radio Transients from the Galactic Center. At the moment, the category includes only three objects, the search for which took more than 10 years. The new Square Kilometer Array Telescope, which should be commissioned in 2028, will help solve the mystery and possibly recognize the alien signal. Secret Projects and Experiments of Nazi Germany during World War II, Nazi Germany launched many secret projects and experiments, many of which were aimed at creating advanced military weapons and technologies. These initiatives range from innovative to fantastic and even absurd. One of the most ambitious projects was the development of rocketry, including the creation of the V-2 rocket, the world's first long-range ballistic missile. These missiles were used to bomb London and other cities, heralding the era of space exploration and the Gold War missile race. In the in the field of aviation, the Nazis experimented with jet and rocket aircraft, including the ME-262, the world's first production jet fighter, and the Horn and Ho 229, a prototype stealth bomber. Work was also carried out on projects of flying saucers and other unusual aircraft, the goal of which was to achieve air superiority. The darkest chapter of the Third Reich scientific research was the medical experiments on humans carried out in concentration camps. These cruel experiments, including survival tests in extreme conditions, studies of the effects of infectious diseases, and sterilization methods, were condemned by the international community as fragrant violations of human rights and ethics. In addition, secret research has expanded the boundaries of chemical and nuclear weapons. The atomic bomb projects, although not completed during the war, set the tone for subsequent U.S. and Soviet nuclear programs. Post-war excavations and studies of the sites where these experiments were carried out are revealing new data about the technological and scientific potential of Nazi Germany. Discoveries in rocketry and aviation are often stunning in their innovation, showing how far efforts can go in wartime. The world's first trash can Archaeological excavations in the area known as Britain's Pompeii have revealed surprising facts about ancient waste disposal methods. The discovery made at Moss Farm near Peterborough turned out to be an ancient equivalent of the rubbish bin, which is up to 3,000 years old. This object, made from two pieces of wood, contained broken metal objects ready to be melted down. This demonstrates a progressive approach to recycling among Bronze Age communities. The study allowed us to delve deeper into the lives of people who lived in 18th 150 BC. The discovery of the remains of 10 roundhouses destroyed by fire and preserved in the mud has provided unique insights into the life of a community of 50-60 people. The discovery of a bin used to collect scrap metal has upended ideas about the primitiveness of the time, highlighting the sophistication and practicality of ancient people in the field of waste disposal. Most Farm is a veritable time capsule that preserves not only unique artifacts, but also an entire Bronze Age settlement, including Britain's own round 10 settlement and a collection of glass beads that has no analogues in the history. Egypt rewrites history Archaeologists in Egypt have stumbled upon something absolutely amazing. In Hierakonpolis, an ancient city on the banks of the Nile, which was the cultural center of Egypt before the pyramids, a cemetery was discovered. But not an ordinary one. Dr. Rene Friedman and her team waited for the usual excavation, but what they found made them gasp in surprise. In the tombs, along with human remains, lay unexpected gas, baboons, wild cats, and even hippos. These animals are not usually found in Egypt. The most amazing thing is that all these animals were well groomed. They received treatment, food, and even lived in captivity for a long time. According to Friedman, it could be the world's first zoo exhibit. These animals were symbols of power and might, demonstrations of wealth and control over wildlife. This zoo is one of the most amazing discoveries in Egypt. Imagine how these ancient Egyptians took care of their wild pets, using them in religious rituals and demonstrating their power. Silver Treasure Assess Gersapa the silver treasure of the Assas Gersapa has become one of the most significant underwater finds of our time, turning into a real sensation in the world of treasures and underwater exploration. The British merchant ship Assas Gersapa was sunk by a German submarine in February 1941 during World War II while en route from India to Britain carrying valuable cargo, including huge quantities of silver. At war and suffering from metal shortages, Britain at the time actively used sea routes to transport raw materials and valuables from 
from its colonies. The Gerasaba was carrying over 200 tons of silver bullion, intended to finance the war effort and support the country's economy. The sinking of the ship was a blow to Britain's resources. The wreckage of Gerasaba was discovered in 2011 at a depth of more than 4.7 kilometers in the North Atlantic, which was made possible thanks to modern technologies for searching and studying underwater objects. The silver recovery operation proved extremely difficult due to depth, weather conditions and technical limitations. However, it was successfully carried out and most of the silver was recovered. In April 1945, when the United States liberated the Buchenwald concentration camp, Karl Schraub, a political prisoner, discovered a lampshade made of human skin in the house of SS officers. From then until 1990, during the GDR era, the lampshade was displayed in a museum located on the site of the former camp, becoming a symbol of Nazi horror. It was later removed from public display, sparking controversy over its origin, whether it was actual skin or plastic. Recently, a conference was held at the Buchenwald Museum with the participation of Mark Banneke, a criminal biologist who, after a detailed examination, confirmed that the lampshade was made of human skin. The museum emphasized that although the display of human remains at exhibitions is contrary to ethical standards, they preserve such exhibits in the collection as evidence of Nazi crimes. Hitler's Wolf Slayer Hidden deep in the forest of Poland lies a mysterious place known as the Wolf's Lair. This is not just a forest, but a whole city underground with secret bunkers, where Hitler and his inner circle spent a lot of time during the war. Imagine underground houses where big plans were discussed and mysterious strategies were made. Archaeologists, like detectives, delve into these places and find things that tell us about the life of the Nazis at that time. They found personal items, maps, and even old letters that seem to whisper stories from the past. These objects help us find out how the people who created the war plans actually lived and thought. About 200 objects were built on an area of 250 hectares. These included air raid shelters, lighter concrete and brick structures, and wooden barracks. The headquarters had two landing sites and a railway station. The walls of the buildings were covered with a mixture of seaweed and green paint, which when the solution was added turned into a green, naturally uneven and porous plaster. A very sophisticated psychological disguise was also used. In particular, it was about the fact that the people who worked on the construction of the wolf's lair had civilian passports. Nowadays, you can go to the wolf's den as a tourist. For a small fee, you can visit the places where Hitler and his entire retinue directly lived. But there is another area that is free for everyone. Ghost Army during World War II, when every advantage on the battlefield could mean the difference between victory and defeat, the Allies resorted to an unusual tactic – the creation of the Ghost Army. This was a unique unit of the American Army, officially known as the 23rd Camouflage Staff Battalion, whose mission was to mislead German troops about the location and intentions of Allied forces. Interestingly, such a Ghost Army is still used in modern wars. The composition of the Ghost Army was unusual. Among its fighters, were artists, designers, actors, and engineers. Using wooden mock-ups of tanks, inflatable models of military equipment, sound equipment that conveyed the noise of moving columns and gunfire, and radio broadcasts of fake commands and messages, they created the illusion of large-scale military action. One of the most famous operations in which the Ghost Army took part was the operation before the offensive in Normandy. While real Allied forces prepared to land on the beaches of Normandy, the Ghost Army concentrated elsewhere, creating the appearance of preparing a major offensive. This made it possible to significantly reduce the concentration of German troops at the actual landing point. Unknown building from prehistoric times in France, archaeologists discovered a unique ancient structure consisting of three round structures, which still remain a mystery to scientists. The find was made in Marlene, near Dijon, before the expansion of a local quarry. The work was carried out under the auspices of the French National Institute for Preventive Archaeological Research. The artifacts cover the period from the Neolithic to the Early Iron Age over an area of 60,000 square meters. A monument with three fences was also discovered, the central one having the shape of a horseshoe. Scientists suggest that this structure may have been used during the Neolithic period, which began about 7,000 years ago. 
Radiocarbon dating is underway to confirm the date. Artifacts related to the bell beaker culture, including flint arrowheads and a copper dagger, were found near the structure. One of the arm beds contained pyrite, used to start a fire, indicating a possible burial site, although this hypothesis has not yet been confirmed. In addition, a five-chamber burial dating to 1500-1300 BC was found, including a burial hearth and an amber necklace. At a distance of 400 meters from the main find, the ashes of Iron Age cremations containing jewelry were discovered. Iraqi Ghost not long ago, a video published by the famous American ufologist and director Jeremy Corbell blew up the internet space. The so-called Iraqi ghost, shaped like a jellyfish, has caused heated discussion online and attracted the attention of both scientists and avid skeptics. The published recording shows how a ball-shaped object with hanging tentacles flies smoothly and without changing its speed over an American military base located in Iraq. The source claims that after this, the ghost sank into the pond and stayed there for 17 minutes, after which it took off sharply at an angle of 45 degrees relative to the ground and, having gained incredible speed, disappeared from visibility. Unfortunately, the footage only shows the flight over the base, but the soldiers did not notice the object, which indicates its silent movement. Movement. Another interesting feature is the change in color of the UFO becoming gray, white, and then black. All this indicates a change in the temperature of an object that feels great both in water and on land. Scientists suggest that UFOs are the result of the activities of an underwater early civilization about which humanity still knows nothing. Ufologists are convinced that this video confirms the existence of aliens using objects of extraterrestrial origin. Critics are convinced that the Iraqi ghost is hot air balloons flying close to each other. It is impossible to confirm or if their statements, since the recording was not made while the object was immersed in water. It is noteworthy that this is not the first UFO that has shape of a jellyfish. In 1977, the famous Petrozavodsk phenomena occurred when a hundred people saw an identified object resembling a sea monster. A similar object was spotted in Sao Paulo in 2020, causing shock among temperamental Brazilians. Separately, it is worth mentioning the fact that the recording was filmed in 2018 but the US government diligently hid this information, fearing public disclosure. Spicy Artifact in the Kangai Mountains in northern Mongolia, archaeologists have discovered a real sensation – a stone decoration in the form of a human phallus. Yes, you heard it right. The small curved piece of graphite, 4.2 cm long, is the oldest known representation of a person taking into account gender characteristics. Believe it or not, its age is estimated to be between 42,400 and 41,900 years old, so it falls on the Upper Paleolithic. Such phallic pendants are something new in Paleolithic history. They say that early hunter-gatherers already used sexual characteristics as symbols. On the pendant, you can see the recesses, which according to scientists, resemble the male genital organ. The most interesting thing is that the back of the pendant is smooth, while the front is not. It looks like the pendant was worn around the neck. The surface of the pendant is slightly worn, suggesting that it has been passed down from generation to generation. Spitfire Fighters in Burma Known for their speed, maneuverability, and firepower, these British fighters played a key role in the Battle of Britain, becoming a symbol of courage and bravery. According to legend, in the face of the Japanese advance, dozens of new Spitfires were buried in the jungles of Burma to prevent their capture. Since then, they have become something of a holy grail for treasure hunters and military archaeologists. Years of searching and studying maps and documents from the war led to the start of large-scale archaeological excavations. Using modern technology, including ground-penetrating radar and satellite navigation, teams of archaeologists were able to locate the suspected burial sites of these aircraft. Excitement and tension grew with each day of excavation, because everyone could witness the discovery of not only superbly preserved examples of aircraft, but also key elements of military history. The Spitfires recovered are models sent from Britain to support the Allies in Asia. Their discovery allows specialists and restorers to recreate and understand the technical aspects and operating conditions of these legendary machines. Bad Arlson Archives 
The Bad Arlson Archives, officially known as the International Tracing Service IDS, is located in the German town of Bad Arlson and is one of the most significant historical resources related to World War II and Holocaust research. These archives contain millions of documents related to victims of the Nazi regime, including prisoners of war, forced laborers, concentration camp prisoners, and people who suffered from National Socialist persecution. The creation of archives began immediately after the end of the war, when the Allied forces Forces discovered the need to organize the huge amount of documentation captured during the liberation of Europe. The goal was not only to document Nazi crimes, but also to help reunite separated families and identify the missing people. These archives contain a wide range of documents, including files on concentration camp prisoners, transport lists to the camps, documents on the movement of forced labor, and medical and court records. These documents not only serve as an important source for researchers and historians, but also provide an opportunity for the descendants of the victims to learn the fate of their ancestors. Today, the Bad Erelson Archives continues to play a key role in efforts to preserve the memory of the Holocaust and Nazi crimes. Filling the dead with plaster Archaeologists have used state-of-the-art technology to shed light on one of the strangest Roman burial traditions involving filling the body of the deceased with plaster. Gypsum was poured directly into the coffin, enveloping the entire body. It turned out something like a 3D model of the deceased. These Roman plaster burials are found throughout Europe and North Africa. About 45 such burials have been discovered in Roman Britain. Scientists scanned 16 plaster burials from the Yorkshire Museum in the UK. The scan revealed a plaster coffin containing the remains of two adults and an infant who died together. And what do these 3D models give us? They detailed the shape, size, and position of each of the deceased, as well as how they were dressed or wrapped. It turns out that 3D visualization is a huge help in studying ancient finds. So why did the Romans engage in such strange burial practices? Scientists suggest that this this could be due to high social status. Regardless of the reasons, this unusual funerary practice has proved super useful for archaeologists. Plaster prints retain a ton of detail that is usually lost over time, including the clothes of the deceased. The clearest photograph of a UFO on September 4, 1971, in the northern highlands of Costa Rica, photographer Sergio Loeza was conducting aerial photography of Lake Coates with the National Geographic Institute. Using a special mapping camera that takes photos at 13-second intervals, he did his job unaware that one of the frames would be unique. Upon returning to the laboratory, Sergio checked the photographs and noticed in one of them a mysterious round metal object located on the right side of the photograph. It is not worthy that an object resembling a flying saucer was not detected in either the previous or subsequent frames. For some time, the National Geographic Institute tried to hide the discovery, prohibiting Sergio and his colleagues from talking about the incident. A metallic flying object with a diameter of more than 18 meters was a closely guarded secret, but in 1979, a photograph appeared in an Argentine newspaper and was analyzed by experts. Soon, Costa Rica declared the photo as official confirmation of the existence of a UFO. Despite many years of study and debate among researchers in this area, no one has been able to say what kind of object this is. Skeptics suggest that the object on the right side of the photo was some kind of debris or scene that got on the film while working with photographs. In 2021, a family friend was able to obtain the original photo in order to scan it using modern technology. This made it possible to digitize the image, making it clearer and more detailed. This allowed skeptics to see the saucer-shaped object at a higher resolution. The updated image allowed us to discard a number of banal assumptions and theories, since this was not not a stain or chip on the camera glass. So what was it? Share your guesses in the comments. Has the first battle with aliens already happened? On August 26, 1946, an American scientific expedition set out for the South Pole. It was led by naval officer and explorer Admiral Richard Byrd, who took part in the First World War. The expedition involved 13 ships, 33 aircraft, and almost 5,000 U.S. Navy soldiers. The group under the command of the Admiral returned only nine months later, reporting that it had to engage in battle with the remnants of the Third Reich and possibly aliens. Flying objects attacked the expedition 
coalition members and caused significant damage to the American group. Byrd in his report claimed to have seen unidentified devices capable of moving at incredible speeds, changing their location almost instantly. At that time, the admiral's statements, despite his high status, seemed like fiction. However, in 2018, a satellite image revealed a contrail left by something moved at incredible speeds. The trail stretched across the entire Earth, connecting the South and North Poles, which is about 20,000 kilometers. The maximum duration of preservation of the trace and its shape is 30 minutes, while most of it begins to dissipate after 15 minutes. Based on the data obtained, we can see that the object that left the contrail was moving at a speed of at least 80,000 km per hour, which is 10 times higher than the speed of the fastest aircraft existing at the moment. Scrolls of Curses in Brookside Meadows, England, archaeologists have stumbled upon Roman villas that showcase the architectural splendor of the time with a multi-building complex and remarkable artifacts including cursed scrolls. This Oxfordshire site stands out among other finds due to its scale and variety of objects dating from the late 1st to early 2nd century AD. On the area of 60,000 square meters discovered traces of human from the Neolithic to the early Iron Age, including buildings with decorative placer and mosaic. Particular attention is drawn to the passage buildings with colonnades, decorated with luxurious hand-drawn placer. Other finds include ceramic slabs, coins, rings, and a horse brooch, indicating cultural links between the late Roman and early Anglo-Saxon periods. The researchers' attention was also drawn to the lad scrolls found at the site. These cursed scrolls were used by the ancient Romans to petition the gods to bring curses on their enemies. The discovered specimens, although left empty, indicate potential rituals or pilgrimages. Such tablets were usually buried in places considered close to the underworld, allowing curses to reach the gods of the underground. These unique finds not only reveal details of Roman architecture and life, but also provide valuable information about the spiritual practices and beliefs of the ancient people, enriching our understanding of history. The Amber Room one of the greatest wonders of the world is often described as the eighth wonder of the world. Originally created in the early 18th century for the Kingdom of Prussia, it was presented to Peter the Great in 1716 as a sign of, of the Russian-Prussian alliance. Subsequently, the room was transported to St. Petersburg and installed in the Catherine Palace in Tascasello. Made from several tons of amber, it was a masterpiece of decorative art, decorated with gold leaf and mirrors creating a warm, luminous interior. During World War II, when Nazi troops captured Tsarska Silo, the Amber Room was dismantled and transported to Königsberg, now Kaliningrad, Russia, where it was exhibited in a museum. After the war, traces of the room were lost, and its location remains one of the greatest mysteries of the 20th century. For decades, explorers, historians, and treasure hunters have tried to find the Amber Room. There are various theories about its fate. Some claim that it was destroyed during the bombing. Others believe that it's still hidden in the bowels of the earth or enclosed vaults. In 2003, the reconstruction of the Amber Room was completed in Russia, recreated by craftsmen from drawings and photographs of the original, which became a symbol of the restoration of lost cultural value. There is more to the quest for the Amber Room than just the quest to find lost treasure. It is a journey through history, culture, and international relations, reflecting humanity's endless desire to reconnect with the past and pass it on to future generations. Panther Tank in the Basement in 2015, an event occurred in Germany that caused enormous public and media resonance. A World War II-era Panther tank was discovered in the basement garage of a private home, along with a number of other military artifacts associated with Nazi Germany. Recognized as one of the most powerful and efficient tanks of its time, the Panther is a rare exhibit and a subject of particular interest to historians and collectors. Along with the tank, an anti-tank gun, a torpedo, and numerous other military items were found in the garage, each a testament to the technological progress and war efforts of Nazi Germany. The discovery was made possible by an anonymous tip followed by a search by police and military experts that led to this unusual discovery. Writing denunciations in Germany can be said to be part of German culture, but it is surprising how the owner of such a huge military arsenal managed to hide a tank in his basement for 70 years. The owner of the house, an elderly man, was a history enthusiast and is believed to have collected these items over the years. The 
question of the origin of the tank and other items, as well as how they were delivered to the basement, caused a lot of controversy among experts. Judicial authorities were faced with the task of determining whether the owner broke the law by owning such objects, especially given the strictness of German law regarding Nazi-era symbols and artifacts. For many, this incident was a reminder that even decades after the end of the war, its egos are still reflected in our modern world, sometimes in the most unexpected and surprising forms. And how much more similar military equipment and weapons of those years are stored in basements and cellars throughout Germany. Strange object hovering in the sky for several hours According to Islamic scholars, there are verses in the Holy Quran that indirectly hint at the presence of extraterrestrial life. Perhaps this is why there is more and more information that residents of Islamic countries such as Pakistan are witnessing UFOs. On January 25, 2022, in Islamabad, a local resident watching the sunset from the roof of his house noticed a mysterious black object hovering in the sky. An unidentified thing, more reminiscent of a flying stone, was motionless for several hours. Changing its shape over time, the object became like a triangle. It is noteworthy that the flying object did not emit or reflect light, completely freezing at an altitude of about 500 meters. The local resident was shocked and watched the object with interest, filming it on his phone as he had never seen anything like it. Experts who watched the video are skeptical about the discovery. Pakistan is a country with high military potential that is actively developing unmanned aerial devices. It is likely that what was seen was a loitering munition or a drone performing a test flight. Despite the fact that the discovery was made in 2022, the video is of rather poor quality. This does not allow experts to make an unambiguous verdict, leaving a chance for the extraterrestrial origin of the mysterious object. Nazi gold in the Alpine lakes Legends of Nazi gold hidden in the depth of the Alpine lakes at the end of World War II have haunted the minds of explorers, treasure hunters, and historians for many years. In its final days, the Third Reich was rumored to have sent valuable cargo, including gold, gems, and works of art, into these inaccessible areas in an attempt to hide them from advancing Allied forces. One of the most famous stories is the alleged Nazi storage of significant gold reserves in the lakes of Austria, in particular Lake Toplitz. According to legend, the Nazis used this and other mountain lakes as natural repositories for their treasures, drowning boxes of gold and valuables in the hope of preserving them for the future revival of the Reich. The post-war search for Nazi gold attracted many expeditions, some of which confirmed the presence of artifacts from the era in the waters of the lakes, including counterfeit British pounds produced by the Nazis as part of Operation Burnhead. However, most of the declared treasures were never found, which only fuels interest in this topic. There are many theories about why the Nazis might have chosen the Alpine lakes to hide their treasures. One of them is that the mountainous terrain and deep cold waters of the lakes provided ideal conditions for preserving valuables for a long time. In addition, legends about treasures could serve as disinformation, the purpose of which was to distract the Allies from more important tasks. Strange Links Find in Hungary, archaeologists came across an unusual find, a barrel of five animals consisting of a lynx and four dogs dating back to the 5th, 6th centuries AD. This discovery made in an area that once belonged to the Roman Empire called Pannonia has raised many questions since lynxes are rarely found among archaeological finds in Europe, much less together with dogs in the same burial. The skeleton of a lynx was discovered at the bottom of a one and a half meter deep hole and above, separated by layers of earth, lay the skeletons of dogs. Interestingly, artifacts found in a nearby ancient settlement indicate that local residents ate mainly the meat of domesticated animals. Given the rarity of finds of lynx skeletons and the complete lack of examples of joint burials with dogs, scientists suggest various theories. One of them suggests that the animals may have died in mortal combat during a hunt, while the others point to the possible ritual significance of the burial. However, the lack of additional artifacts leaves the exact cause and meaning of this burial a mystery. This discovery challenges modern understanding of the relationships between wild and domesticated animals in ancient times, as well as the rituals and beliefs of the people who lived in what is now Hungary one and a half thousand years ago. The presence of the lynx, a large predator that has become rare in modern Europe, further enhances the interest in this find. Secret Tunnels Under London 
During construction work in London, a forgotten network of secret tunnels running underneath the city is discovered. These underground corridors are believed to have been used by military and government agencies during World War II, both to protect against German bombing and to conduct covered operations. The tunnels extend for several kilometers under the central part of the city, forming a complex network that once served as a hidden arterial route for the movement of people and important documents, as well as for secret meetings of military commanders and government officials. Some of these underground passages lead to buildings of strategic importance, including military headquarters and government bunkers. The discovery confirms numerous rumors and legends of London residents about the existence of an extensive network of tunnels under the city. Until now, most of these underground structures remain unexplored due to their secret status and limited access. Archaeologists and historians say the discovery is important for understanding how London sought to protect its infrastructure and key individuals during the most tense years of the war. Inside the tunnels, Remains of ancient communications, military equipment and even personal belongings have been found, making them a valuable source for studying the daily life of the time. Research and conservation of the discovered tunnels continues and promises to reveal even more secrets about life and the defense of Britain's capital during the dark years of the Second World War. Giant Flames in the Sky of South Florida on February 9, 2021, a South Florida man was returning home from work when he suddenly noticed a flash of light, causing him to stop. Having recorded what was happening on his phone, Seward witnessed an unusual phenomenon. At some point, a large white plume began to unfold across the sky, becoming larger and larger. This did not shock the worker, but rather amazed him, because the phenomenon resembled a giant flame engulfing the night sky of Florida. As you know, this state is popular among UFOs. Since 1998, there have been more than 7,000 alien sightings in South Florida, some of which still defy logical explanation. As for this situation, the glow is as similar as possible to the trace left after the launch of Elon Musk's rockets in 2017. After the space mission began, similar glowing contrails remained in the sky, leading to an obvious conclusion. Despite the mysterious pattern in the night sky, it was probably not aliens, but a test of a hypersonic missile that left a bizarre trail that carried the residents of South Florida. Unique type of DNA in alien mummies Three-fingered mummies have been discovered in Peru, establishing themselves as something beyond our world. The creators of the documentary Serena DC and Michael Mazzola announced the presentation of unique evidence of the existence of humanoids. The remains found in the mountain mine, according to documentarians, are not a fake and contain DNA that is not similar to the known forms. American scientists in Mexico and Peru have conducted research, the results of which refute the claims of the Peruvian authorities about mummies as a tourist attraction. According to the filmmakers, the discovery could rewrite the history of mankind, becoming comparable to the discovery of the Shroud of Christ or the Ark of the Covenant. The documentarians are convinced of the need for scientific DNA analysis to understand the origins of creatures that are more than a thousand years old and whose DNA is 30% unknown, indicating possible genetic manipulation. The film suggests that the mummies could be evidence of a new species or even extraterrestrial origin. The creators plan to show images and research results live from the lab laboratory calling for a serious scientific analysis of the discovered remains. The Dove's Secret Message in 2012, in England, an amazing discovery was made in the chimney of one of the houses, which opened a new page in the history of military intelligence and communications during the Second World War. It is about the skeleton of a pigeon, which is believed to have been a signal pigeon that died on the mission. The discovery in itself is already of historical interest, but the real sensation was that a metal capsule containing an undeciphered message was found with the remains of the bird. This message, written on thin paper, consists of 27 lines of coded characters that have not yet been deciphered. Researchers speculate that it could have been a secret message sent from the front to Allied headquarters during critical operations. Pigeon mail was an important means of communication during the war due to its ability to deliver messages in conditions where other means of communication were unavailable or too dangerous. The discovery has challenged cryptographers and historians around the world to decipher the message, which could contain valuable information about military operations, intelligence, or even the location of a military unit. This this discovery also highlights the importance and uniqueness of pigeon mail as a means of transmitting important messages, which was especially important during times of global conflict. Interestingly, the search for the key to this cipher continues to this day. Wall of Yarn 
Three balls of yarn dating back 3,000 years have been found during excavations at an ancient Bronze Age site in England known as Britain's Pompeii. They were discovered in underground houses built in swampy areas. One of the balls was charred, raising questions about how it could have survived the fire without being damaged. The composition of the yarn has not yet been established due to the fragility of the artifacts. The lack of information about the composition of yarn causes controversy among scientists, especially when it comes to materials such as wool or plant fibers. It is assumed that the balls found could have been made from flax or nettle. All this suggests that the history of knitting and the use of textile materials in ancient times remains poorly understood and full of mysteries. Archaeologists are still trying to determine the purpose of these ancient textiles, many of which may have been lost or damaged in the fire that destroyed the settlement. This makes the task of reconstructing historical context even more difficult. Discovery of the Leningrad Diary in the archives of St. Petersburg, formerly known as Leningrad, a unique discovery was made that sheds light on one of the darkest pages in the history of the Great Patriotic War, the Siege of Leningrad. A newly discovered diary, written by an unknown author during the siege, provides a personal account of life and survival in a city cut off from the rest of the world by German troops for nearly 900 days. The text of the diary covers the period from the first days of the siege until its breakthrough, describing the daily difficulties, fears, and hopes of the inhabitants of Leningrad. The author documents everything from severe shortages of food, water and fuel to the heroic efforts of residents to defend their home from the enemy. The diary also touches on moments of personal grief and joy. The discovery of this document was a significant event for researchers and anyone interested in the history of World War II. Leningrad Diary allows you to look into the soul of ordinary people who found themselves in the midst of one of the most brutal blockades in history. This diary has become an important historical source, supplementing the official history of the Siege of Leningrad with personal experiences and testimonies, making the story more complete. Train with Nazi Gold the legend of the Nazi gold train is one of the most intriguing stories surrounding the end of World War II. According to this legend, in the last days of the war, when Nazi Germany stood on the verge of defeat, a train loaded with gold, jewelry and works of art was sent from Breslau, now Wroclaw, Poland, towards the Oven mountain range, where, according to rumors, there were underground warehouses and bunkers. This train is said to have disappeared without a trace in the chaos of the final days of the war, leaving behind many questions and speculation. Some versions claim that the train was hidden in one of the many tunnels in the oven area, the entrances and exits of which were then blown up or walled up to hide the treasure from the approaching Allied forces. For decades, treasure hunters, explorers and historians have tried to find the lost train using both historical evidence and modern technology. Despite numerous expeditions and searches, no convincing evidence of the existence of the train was found. However, from time to time, new reports about possible finds appear in the media, once again reigniting interest in this mystery. Computer that is two and a half thousand years old. AGNC, April 1900. Literally 100 meters from the coast of a small island, divers discovered the site of an ancient shipwreck located at a depth of 45 meters. For two years, researchers and archaeologists studied the debris among which they discovered part of a metal box made of coral and created in the 2nd century BC. This device is the first mechanical computer ever discovered by mankind. The mechanism is one and a half thousand years older than any similar art effect and contains dozens of gears that control the mechanism. It is assumed that an analog computer could be used to predetermine astronomical events. Ancient Greece, it turns out, had knowledge of mechanics and could create devices which completely changes our perception of history. It is assumed that the ship set sail from the shores of the island of Rhodes because this place was considered a haven of high technology of that time. The poets of ancient Greece repeatedly mentioned in their works animated statues that could freeze in place or begin to move as if life had been breathed into them. It is quite possible this was not a literary device, but the first prototypes of robots created by men. The Greeks claimed that they received knowledge from the gods who descended to them from heaven. It is possible that in this way they explained the meeting with aliens who decided to share their technology with humanity. The Secret of a 4,000-Year-Old Artifact 
In 2001, the archaeological world was puzzled by the influx of unique antiquities on the antiques market. Jewelry, weapons and ceramics with exquisite designs and inlays appeared out of thin air, raising questions about their origins. The works, which featured complex symbolism, were attributed to Central Asia, but it later turned out that they were not fakes. An investigation in the round in 2002 revealed the mystery of these finds. Arrests of traders led to the discovery of the artifact's location in the Kalul River Valley Valley, where a flood in 2001 revealed an ancient necropolis from the Bronze Age. Local residents began selling artifacts, thereby revealing the existence of a previously unknown culture. Archaeologists were amazed by the scale of the discovery and began to study this place, excavating the main necropolis of Mati Tubad and two mounds south and north Konar Sandal while discovering the remains of ancient buildings and evidence of a highly developed civilization. In 2003, under the leadership of Yusuf Majizadi, systematic excavations began, which lasted several years and revealed amazing artifacts and evidence of the existence of an ancient city here. Debate continues about the origins and significance of the giraffe culture. Some scholars consider it to be the legendary errata of Sumerian texts, while others suggest an association with the ancient kingdom of Marhashi. Despite differences of opinion, the excavations in Adjuraft have provided an invaluable information about the ancient civilization, leaving much room for further research and discovery. Monolith in the Middle of the Desert in November 2020, in the Red Rock Desert of southern Utah, a helicopter crew and biologists were counting livestock when they noticed something startling. Approaching the mysterious object, they discovered a large shiny silver object located in a canyon inaccessible to humans. Utah authorities tried to keep the discovery a secret, but soon data about it was leaked on social networks. People struck by the object called it the Utah Monolith, a remnant of aliens, a mysterious metal monument that found itself in the middle of the desert has become the subject of fantasies and the rich imagination of people who believe in the existence of more intelligent civilizations living on other planets. It was assumed that this monolith was left by an alien spaceship so that they could contact us. Many were convinced that the monolith was built from alien building materials. The materials have unique properties that are not found in nature on our planet. The metal and ceramic composite is capable of absorbing radar waves. It is known that alien ships with anti-gravity properties can have a similar alloy. Some believe that the US government not only knows about these materials, but is also using the remains of alien ships to create the next generation of weapons. Experts carefully check the monolith to determine the type of metal and also try to find cavities in the mysterious object. Despite all the theories and speculation on social networks, scientists are convinced that the monolith was created by men and perhaps placed in the canyon only to become a manifestation of the beauty of a work of art. Dinosaur Footprints in Rock Art the scientific community encountered an unusual discovery in northeastern Brazil, where they found a unique juxtaposition of dinosaur tracks and ancient petroglyphs. In the state of Paraiba, in the Serra da Latreira region, researchers discovered fossilized imprints of theropods, sauropods, and iguanodons from the early Cretaceous period, as well as pre-colonial cave paintings. This unique site brings together ancient traces and art, creating a symbolic connection between painting and fossils. Previously, petroglyphs were also found near dinosaur tracks, but not in such close interaction. Researchers believe that ancient artists deliberately chose places near ancient footprints for the drawings. This emphasizes a deep perception of the connection between art and natural phenomena. Petroglyphs, which previously received less attention, are now being studied in conjunction with ancient traces. The rock paintings are circular figures with radial lines and other geometric motifs, the meaning of which remains a mystery. Among the designs, images reminiscent of gnats, stars, and snakes stand out, indicating a variety of styles and possibly the presence of several authors. Japanese Battleship Masashi the battleship Musashi, along with its sister Yamato, represented the apogee of Japanese naval engineering during World War II and one of the largest and most powerful warships ever built. Launched in 1940, Musashi weighed more than 72,000 tons when fully loaded and was armed with nine 460mm guns that could fire shells weighing more than one ton at a distance of up to 42 kilometers. 
These giant ships were designed to dominate the Pacific theater of war, but their fate was tragic. Musashi was actively involved in combat operations during the war, participating in a number of major battles, including the Battle of the Sibuyan Sea, where it was sunk in October 1944 by American aircraft. The sinking of the Musashi became a symbol of changing priorities in naval warfare, where the advantage passed to aircraft carriers and aircraft, and the giant battleships lost their superiority. The discovery of the Musashi wreck in 2015 by undersea exploration aficionado and Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen was a major event. Allen's team found the ship at a depth of more than 1,000 meters in the Sibuyan Sea. The use of modern underwater vehicles made it possible to obtain unique footage of the wreckage of the ship, revealing details of its design and damage received in the last battle. Sejima Island Marked by history as one of the darkest places during World War II, Sajima Island was nicknamed Hell on Earth due to the brutal treatment of prisoners of war held there in extremely harsh conditions. Located in a remote part of Japan, this island became the site of mass suffering and death of Allied soldiers captured by the Japanese army. In recent years, archaeological excavations on Sajima Island have shed light on the island's dark history by revealing mass graves of prisoners of war. These findings provided an opportunity to deepen our understanding understanding of the lives, conditions of detention, and circumstances of death of prisoners forced to endure unbearable conditions, hunger, disease, and cruel treatment. The island, used for military purposes, was isolated from the rest of the world, which made it possible to hide what was happening here from the international community. The stories from survivors and historical documents testified to inhumane ordeals, but only recent excavations made it possible to fully appreciate the scale of the tragedy. Finds on the island include personal belongings of prisoners of war, letters that were never sent, and fragments of clothing that help reconstruct the lifestyle and final moments of the people stranded here. Wrecked Steamboat Under a Cornfield in 1988, in Kansas, underground at a depth of 15 meters, treasure hunters discovered the sunken steamship Arabia, which had been resting on a layer of earth for as long as 132 years. Built in 1853, the steamship was a symbol of American enterprise and engineering prowess, but its career in the waters was short-lived. Arabia would have sailed even on the sands of Arabia, so when the saying emphasized the reliability of the ship. However, the dangerous waters of the Missouri became fatal for it. During a voyage in 1856, the Arabia encountered an underwater obstacle and quickly sank, although all passengers and crew evacuated safely. The ship and its rich cargo remained underwater, and although in later years there were rumors of treasure on board, including whiskey and expensive porcelain, no serious attempt was made to recover it until earthly processes buried the Arabia on the layers of sand and clay. The story was revived at the end of the 20th century when a team of enthusiasts led by the Holy family and their partners decided to discover and raise the sunken steamship. After careful study of maps and historical records, they found the place where Arabia was buried. Using modern technology, the team conducted an extensive excavation and discovered not only the steamship, but also its remarkably well-preserved cargo, representing a valuable cross-section of American life and culture at the time. Among the items found were shoes, cosmetics, tools, medicines, luxury glassware, alcohol, and much more. All this provided an invaluable insight into the daily lives of people of that era. The recovered artifacts and parts of the ship itself later became the basis for the Arabian Museum in Kansas City, which opened in 1991 and is home to the largest collection of antebellum items in the United States. The Sinking of the Bismarck the sinking of the Bismarck, the flagship of the German fleet during World War II, is one of the most significant and dramatic events in naval history. This warship, named after the German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, was one of the most powerful in the world at that time, thanks to its armor, weapons, and speed. Its launch in 1939 immediately attracted the attention of the world community, becoming a symbol of the naval power of Nazi Germany. Bismarck set off on his first and last combat campaign in May 1941. Its mission was to disrupt Britain's maritime supply by attacking ships carrying cargo from North America. However, soon after the operation began, the British Navy discovered the Bismarck and decided to destroy it in order to prevent potential threats to its shipping lanes. On May 24, 1941, after exchanging fire with the British cruiser Hood, Bismarck managed to inflict critical damage on Hood, leading to its explosion and subsequent sinking. This success 
success, however, became a pyrrhic victory for the Bismarck, as during the battle, the ship received damage that limited its maneuverability and speed. The British fleet used this advantage to pursue and encircle the German battleship. On May 27, 1941, after an intense pursuit and several unsuccessful attacks by British warships and aircraft, the Bismarck was finally sunk in the Atlantic Ocean. Most of its crew were killed. The discovery of the Bismarck's wreckage in 1989 at a depth of more than 4.7 thousand meters was a significant event, allowing researchers and historians to learn more about the ship's final hours and the circumstances of its sinking. These wrecks still attract the attention of specialists and remain a monument to both engineering skill and the tragedy of war. Mysterious Coughing this archaeological find discovered in Japan will make our journey into the past even more exciting. Archaeologists have found a huge stone coffin in the ruins of the ancient Yoshinagari fortress. The length of this coffin is a whole 3.2 meters. This is one and a half meters more than the usual tombs of that time. Inside the coffin is another one, a little smaller, about 2.3 meters long. The coffin is composed of four stone slabs, each of which looks very impressive. The coffin was found in Yoshinagari Fortress, which is located in the Japanese province of Saga on the island of Kyushu. At that time, the fortress was the largest settlement in Japan, surrounded by a deep moat. Other tombs have already been explored in the ruins of the fortress, but this coffin is the largest of all that are known to science. Scientists have determined that this giant tomb was built between the 2nd and 3rd centuries during the era of the Yamatai state. There are marks on the surface of the coffin, probably made with sharp metal tools. Some of them resemble the Japanese katana character. Probably these signs serve to protect the disease from evil forces. Scientists believe that someone very important could be buried in the coffin. After all, ordinary people were not buried on top of the hill. This is evidenced by the huge size of the tomb. The coffin will be opened soon, and what scientists will find inside, we will find out in the following videos. In the meantime, you can write your guess in the comments. What might be hiding inside the giant coffin? Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with new finds of archaeologists, and I will continue. UFO in Roswell, the beginning of a government conspiracy. On June 24, 1947, a pilot was flying over the Cascade Mountains of Washington State while searching for a crashed military plane. At some point, he noticed nine crescent-shaped objects flying in formation at an altitude of more than 3 kilometers at a speed of 1,009 kilometers per hour, which at that time seemed unrealistic. Arnold Kenneth was the first to describe unidentified flying objects as saucers. The media learned about this and coined the phrase flying saucer, which later became an integral part of the main modern mystery of mankind. Two weeks later, on July 7, 1947, a rancher in Roswell contacted the sheriff reporting strange debris. He had heard a story about flying saucers and suggested that one of them might have crashed during a recent storm. After receiving the debris, the sheriff turned it over to the Army Air Base. Soon the military arrived at the range, which began a series of stunning events. Within 24 hours, the authorities completely changed their attitude towards the discovery saying that the journalists had made a mistake and that what happened had nothing to do with the UFO. In 1978, the Roswell UFO crash became a popular topic again. The former military man admitted that the logical explanations were a cover-up and the photographs were staged. He claimed that the real wreckage was replaced to hide the existence of aliens. Those participating in the search knew for sure that it was an extraterrestrial spacecraft, but could not tell people about it. Curious scientists found several more retired military personnel and they all confirmed the fact of the UFO crash. Skeptics believe that they lied for the sake of a fee, but no one has yet been able to refute or confirm that the US government hit a crashed alien spaceship. To believe in UFOs or not, everyone decides for themselves. Some facts of extraterrestrial civilization are still beyond doubt, forcing us to accept a new reality. At the same time, a Pentagon UFO hunter and former head of the Anomalous Phenomena Investigations Office gave an interview that cannot be ignored. Sean Kirkpatrick admitted that his office has not found any real evidence regarding alien origins. In addition, he denies government conspiracies to hide evidence of the existence of aliens. At the same time, US 
Air Force veteran David Crush gave a scandalous interview confirming that he participated in hiding the bodies of aliens and extraterrestrial vehicles. Which of them speaks sincerely and which is afraid to admit the truth? Time will tell. French Resistance Weapons Depot in France, while renovating one of the old houses, a startling discovery was made – a hidden weapons cache that probably belonged to members of the French resistance during World War II. This occupation-era arsenal included handguns, grenades, explosives, and documentation of underground activities. The discovery of finds of this kind is rare and is of great value to historians and researchers. The arsenal, found in a cache under the floor of the house, testifies to the well-organized and decisive preparation of the French people to fight the occupiers. Resistance in France was multi-layered. This movement organized sabotage, intelligence operations, distribution of anti-Nazi leaflets, and assistance to the Allies. The weapons used by the resistance were often delivered by British and American allies via parachute drops or transported through neutral countries. Cubic UFO scared the plane pilot in February 2020, an aircraft on duty in Colombia collided with an unusual air object. Being at an altitude of more than 9 kilometers, the captain took a mobile phone in order to film a metal object moving in a straight line. Something that looks like a cube has nothing in common with a balloon or other objects capable of being at such a height. The distance from the aircraft to the object has not been established, so its estimated diameter is between 3 and 5 meters. Scientists suggest that extraterrestrial civilizations are afraid of a direct collision with humanity and are not ready for direct contact. The object caught on camera may be analogous to a scout who found himself on Earth in order to observe us from the side. Perhaps the aliens are studying us and are slowly preparing to visit our planet. Is it so? Time will tell. But the experts who evaluated the video did not reach a consensus. The object does not have wings and does not leave a trail, which means it is not a man-made device. Skeptics suggest that the metal cube is just a balloon that was inflated at an altitude of more than 9 kilometers, but physicists are convinced that the low temperature would not allow it to rise so high. Roswell Incident the Roswell Incident, which occurred in July 1947 in New Mexico, USA, remains one of the most discussed and mysterious pages in the history of UFOs and Nazi Germany. Events began with the discovery of unidentified debris on a ranch near Roswell, leading to much speculation about the crash of an alien ship. But as you remember, the Nazis also tried to invent weapons that had not existed before, including something similar to flying saucers. Therefore, historians and lovers of conspiracy theories intertwine these events with each other. The US Air Force initially announced that a flying disk had been found, but the statement was soon withdrawn and the official story changed the crash of a balloon used for meteorological purposes. This change in position raised suspicions and gave rise to conspiracy theories that the US government was hiding the truth about the alien encounter. In subsequent years, the Roswell incident became an iconic event in ufology, with an entire industry built around it, including books, documentaries, feature films, conferences, and even a theme park in Roswell. Ufologists and researchers suggest that the military not only discovered UFO debris, but also the bodies of aliens, which in their opinion was strictly classified. The US government in turn has repeatedly denied the presence of any evidence of an alien visit and emphasized that all secret projects associated with Roswell concerned exclusively military research and intelligence activities within the framework of the Cold War. In 1994, the Pentagon and CIA released reports claiming that the debris belonged to the secret project Mogul, designed to monitor Soviet nuclear testing at high altitudes. However, these explanations have not convinced many conspiracy theorists, who continue to search for more evidence of alien intervention. Idol of Garbanovsky Peatbog the Gorbanovsky peat bog, located in the Urals, is an outstanding monument of the Paleolithic and Bronze Age, becoming the first archaeological discovery of its kind in Russia. On the side of the modern swamp, there was once a lake, on the shore of which people built platforms leaving behind dwellings, tools and vessels. Over time, the area became swampy, but this did not stop people from settling the territory, which is confirmed by finds of coal chips. 
Among the unique artifacts found here was a boomerang and a wooden idol carved from a pine trunk, with a disproportionately long body and a detailed head, making it different from other finds. This idol, discovered under the wall of the excavation, is now kept in the Nizhny Tagil Museum. In addition, an idol head with primitive processing and another idol with a simplified body shape were found, both of which are now in the collection of the State Historical Museum. These artifacts demonstrate particular care in the manufacture of objects of everyday use and accuracy in depicting the forms of animals and birds. Anthropomorphic images, however, are made crudely and schematically, which may be associated with ancient beliefs about the depiction of the spirits of the dead. It is assumed that due to the fear of connecting a spirit with its image, wooden sculptures were made conventional and deliberately unrealistic. This approach to creating human images testifies to the deeply rooted traditions and beliefs of the ancient inhabitants of the Urals. Secret UFO Video Hidden by the U.S. Government On November 23, 2019, near the southern border between Arizona and Mexico, Department of Homeland Security agents flew aircraft to locate and arrest smugglers transporting illegal substances into the United States. At some point, their infrared camera captured something that had a rather strange shape. A mysterious object, visually reminiscent of a rubber duck, amazed observers and then the American government. In September 2021, a secret video was given to an expert studying aliens. After receiving the video from the Department of Homeland Security, Andy Marshall was shocked to see an object that resembled a rubber duck. First appearing on the internet, the video amazed viewers with the fact that the unknown object is about 2 meters long and moves without any wings or traces of exhaust gases. An object resembling a duck flew in a certain direction for about an hour, and the video of the official federal agency does not allow one to think that this was a montage. The ufology community takes the video extremely seriously, believing that it proves the existence of UFOs. Experts who analyze the recording also differ in their opinions. It is known that unidentified flying objects have common behavioral characteristics, including speed, camouflage, and altitude. As for the so-called rubber duck, it moved too slowly, covering only 15 kilometers in half an hour. Such wind speeds are normal in this area, so it is possible that the secret UFO video is just an object that was picked up by air currents. Russian Pyramids if you haven't seen it in person, you've probably heard about the greatness of the Egyptian pyramids on the Giza Plateau. This architectural ensemble, which has delighted the world with its splendor for centuries, is considered one of the most monumental. But Russian researchers have proposed an alternative, pointing to the existence of even older pyramids in Russia, covering areas from the Kola Peninsula to the Black Sea. The first discovery of such pyramidal structures occurred on the Kola Peninsula in 2001, dating which indicated an age twice that of the Egyptian counterparts. Subsequent discoveries confirmed the artificial origin of these pyramids, built between 9,000 and 40,000 years ago. In 2010, researchers discovered another ancient pyramid, indicating similar construction techniques to Egyptian and Chinese structures. In the Krasnoyarsk region in Sopka Chernia, an extinct volcano nicknamed Pyramid for its triangular shape with man-made masonry discovered in 1993. In Rostov and Don, there is the Sanctuary of Arius, a unique structure that predates the Egyptian pyramids by a thousand years and was built according to the principle of the Golden Ratio. Crimea is especially rich, where in 2001, seven pyramids were found located in a line between Sevastopol and Forest, supposedly 2,000 years older than the Egyptian ones. Their architecture is reminiscent of Tibetan and Mexican pyramids, indicating the existence of an ancient advanced civilization. It's hard to believe that the Egyptian pyramids are not as ancient as we were previously told. Also, such finds confirm that the Egyptians were not the first to create such grandiose structures. Until now, humanity is racking its brains and trying to understand why people in ancient times built pyramidal structure all over the globe. Women's Concentration Camp Ravensbrück the Ravensbrück concentration camp, located in Germany, was founded in 1939 and was the largest women's concentration camp of the Nazi system. Tens of thousands of women of various nationalities were held here, subjected to torture, forced labor, and horrible medical experiments. Between 1942 and 1943, cruel experiments were carried out on prisoners at the Ravensbrück concentration camp, during which deep cuts were made to their calves, and then bacteria from tetanus, streptococcus, and gas gangrene 
were rubbed into these wounds. Additionally, crushed glass and sawdust were injected into the wounds, simulating the conditions of combat wounds. The purpose of these inhuman experiments carried out by German doctors was to study treatments that could be used to treat wounded soldiers at the front. Archaeological excavations carried out at the Ravensbrück campsite in recent years have uncovered personal belongings of prisoners providing new data for understanding the lives and fate of prisoners. Among the artifacts found were jewelry, pieces of fabric, shoes and personal hygiene items that prisoners hid in the hope of maintaining some connection with their former life and humanity. These little things, seemingly insignificant against the backdrop of the overall tragedy, nevertheless tell a huge story about the strength and spirit, hope and despair that lived in the hearts of the women of Ravensbrück. Particularly valuable are finds related to children who were also kept in the camp with their mothers or born in captivity. Toys, children's shoes and clothing found during the excavations highlight the inhumanity of the regime, which did not spare even the smallest. Excavations on the territory of Ravensbrück continue, and each new discovery helps to complement and clarify the historical picture of the camp. Pazarek Pile Carpet the discovery of the Pazarek carpet in 1949 in one of the mounds of the ancient Pazarek culture and the territory of the Altai Republic became a real sensation. Not only is it the oldest known pile carpet, but it is also a priceless historical artifact that demonstrates the excellence of, of the art of the time. The find was made by an expedition of the Institute of Archaeology of the USSR Academy of Sciences under the leadership of Sergei Rudenko. The study of the mounds of the Pazarek culture began in the 19th century. After the Covering the carpet, archaeologists conducted a thorough stylistic and artistic analysis of it. Everything from yarn to weaving techniques was studied. Comparison of the details of the carpet with the known ornaments of art of objects of that time allowed us to draw a conclusion about its non alte and most likely Western or Central Asian origin. Rutenko also noted that already in the Achaemenid era, pile carpets were protected in Persia, which were used not only in everyday life, but also as a symbol of power and wealth, which emphasized emphasize their significance in the culture and art of that time. German Refuge in 2021, during renovation work in Germany, a cache containing Nazi artifacts and documents was found in the wall of one of the houses. The find included medals, military uniforms, personal letters, photographs, as well as propaganda materials and other items dating back to the Nazi Germany period. These artifacts, neatly hidden in the wall, were likely walled up in the final days of the war or immediately after its end, when the owners may have tried to hide their connection with the Nazi regime for fear or possible reprisals from the Allied forces or the new government. The find became evidence of the tragic history of those years when objects that once carried pride and ideological significance turned into symbols of shame and fear. Among the documents found were personal letters that provide valuable primary sources for understanding the feelings and opinions of ordinary people. The photographs provide insight into everyday life, cultural and social aspects of Nazi Germany, allowing for a better understanding of how the ordinary coexisted with the exceptional. The discovery and others like it presents a society with a dilemma. On the one hand, the importance of preserving historical memory. On the other, the need to ensure that these materials are not used for propaganda purposes or praise of the Nazi regime. What do you think? Do the symbols and artifacts of the Third Reich have a right to life? Or can their existence revive fascism and Nazism and take us back to the times of the extermination of entire nations? Write your opinion in the comments under the video. Mouse Tank the Mouse Tank was a colossal project of Nazi Germany, symbolizing the desire to create a super weapon during the Second World War. Developed under the direction of engineer Ferdinand Porsche and personally approved by Adolf Hitler, the Mouse was intended to be the heaviest tank of all time, weighing 188 tons. Its creation reflected the philosophy of Nazi military st strategies, which focused on superiority through technological power. Development of the Mouse began in 1942, and by the end of the war, only two prototypes had been built. The main task of the tank was to break through enemy defenses with the ability to withstand any type of artillery shells and obstacles. It was armed with a 128mm gun, capable of destroying any target at a distance of up to 2 kilometers, and an additional 75mm gun and also had armor up to 220mm thick. However, the gigantic size and mass of the mouse became its main drawback. The tank suffered from mobility problems, was difficult to transport, and could only travel on special 
especially fortified roads. In addition, its enormous weight made it impossible to cross bridges, which seriously limited its operational use at the front. By the time Germany surrendered, work on the Maus had not been completed, and the tank never took part in combat operations. One of the prototypes was captured by Soviet troops and sent to the USSR for study. Today, this unique specimen can be seen in the Central Museum of the Armed Forces in Moscow. Camp Sobibor the Sobibor extermination camp, located in Poland, was one of the most sinister sites of Nazi genocide during World War II. Recent archaeological excavations at the site have shed light on the dark history of the Holocaust, revealing remains of gas chambers, living quarters, and personal belongings of victims. These findings provided important evidence of the scale of crimes committed in the death camps. The Sobibor gas chambers were a central element in the extermination of the population, and their discovery provides insight into the technical technological aspect of the Nazi system of mass extermination. Excavations have revealed the foundations and structure of these sinister structures where the Nazis killed millions of innocent people. Finds of the victims' personal belongings such as shoes, jewelry, children's toys and household items speak to the scale of the tragedy and the personal stories of those who were doomed to die. These objects serve as powerful reminders of the brutality of the crimes committed against them. The discovery of the Sobibor campsite not only contributes to the understanding of the history of the Holocaust, but also serves as an important lesson for future generations. It reminds us of the need to remember the horrors of the past. Latest photos of extinct animals the Red Book is often cited as a symbol of the protection of endangered species, but few people know about the existence of the Black Book, a sad catalog of animals and plants lost forever. This document serves as a poignant reminder that we have lost 844 species over the past five centuries. Today I want to talk about some animals that disappeared due to humans in the last century, whose last specimens were recorded in photographs and or videos. The Barbary lion, native to North Africa, disappeared in the 1920s. Huge and powerful, with a majestic mane, this lion was hunted to extinction because of its detriment to livestock, especially after the advent of firearms. The last lion was killed in 1922. The marsupial wolf, or thalassine, lived in Australia and New Guinea and was later driven to Tasmania by dingoes. The shooting by farmers began with thylacines began attacking livestock. In 1936, the last thylacine in the zoo died, but its appearance was preserved on the video. The Bali tiger, which lived on the island of Bali, was one of the smallest tigers. Hunting of these tigers began in the 1910s and the last female was killed in 1937, leading to the extinction of the species. The Mexican grizzly, which inhabited the territories of Mexico and the United States, was last seen in 1960. Despite the ban on hunting these bears in 1959, they have disappeared due to hunting and habitat loss. These stories are only a small part of the tragic fates of animals that have disappeared due to human activity. There are legends that modern humanity has found living mammoths and saber-toothed tigers, and supposedly these photographs confirm their recent existence. Friendship between the inhabitants of ancient Egypt and aliens the topic of the connection between ancient Egypt and UFOs is a subject of interest to many researchers and paranormal enthusiasts. Many facts remain speculation, but there are also details that defy logical explanation. In some temples and pyramids, you can find ruins reminiscent of modern ideas about UFOs. The most famous example is the image on the walls of the Temple of Ramesses II at Abu Simbel. On one of the walls, researchers found an image of a flying saucer with a round shape and strange aerodynamic characteristics. Other evidence includes numerous papyrus records about UFOs, one of them is translated as follows, and a circle of fire appeared in the sky. It had no head, but a terrible stench came out of its mouth. Its body was huge, it was voiceless. A little scary, isn't it? Similar records belong to a chronicle who lived three and a half thousand years ago. He claimed that the sky was covered with fiery discs, but the pharaoh did not chicken out and did not allow the soldiers to flee, after which the flying object disappeared in an instant. Tent. Concepts such as winged shields and discs of fire repeatedly in ancient Egyptian written religious sources. Iron was practiced.
practically unmined in ancient Egypt and was a rare metal, but writings often mention iron thrones, scepters, and clothing intended for the pharaoh. The sun god was dressed in a metal and sat on a throne of iron and fire, which also sounds quite strange. The Ubaidas hieroglyphs discovered in the hall of the funeral temple of Pharaoh Seti I deserve special attention. Here, ufologists noticed a helicopter, a submarine, a glider, and an airship. For a long time, photographs of the find were considered falsified, but soon their authenticity was confirmed. There were suggestions that the inhabitants of ancient Egypt were able to look into the future, while other scientists believed that aliens traveled in time and simply told them about the events of the 20th century. Skeptics categorically deny such ideas, believing that the images were the result of the superposition of two hieroglyphic inscriptions which suffered destruction of the plaster between them. There was another, no less amazing drawing, where a flying disc drops an aerial bomb, but critics here have their own logical explanation. The Holy Grail of the Nazis This artifact has become increasingly popular over time, especially in the context of research into the esoteric beliefs of the Nazi regime. It is true that a number of senior Nazi leaders, including Himmler, were interested in the occult and mystical traditions. However, it is necessary to understand that most of the information on this topic is based on myth and gases. However, there is a version that the Nazis were actually looking for the Holy Grail in the hope of using its mythical properties for their own purposes. In combination with archaeological expeditions organized by the Anabe SS Research Institute, this version becomes even more interesting. Some historians claim that one of the goals of Nazi expeditions to Tibet and other regions was to search for relics, including the Grail. However, there was no clear evidence for this. There is also an opinion that the Grail could be located in southern France, in the Cathar region, and that the Nazis carried out excavations there. This myth has been further inflated by popular culture, especially especially movies and books. A number of works depict Nazis pursuing sacred relics, including the Grail, to gain supernatural power or justify their ideology. Scientific and historical research on the topic proves that while the Nazis were indeed interested in the occult and mysticism, most of these claims are based on myth. However, the idea that the Nazis may have been searching for the Holy Grail has become one of the most recognizable and disturbing themes in modern pop culture the oldest animal's culture. On the coast of South Africa, 330 kilometers from Cape Town, scientists from Nelson Mandela University discovered the oldest artificial image of an animal created by men. This sculpture of a blue stingray, made from petrified sand, is located near Blombos Cave, famous for rock art dating back to 77 and 73,000 years ago. The studies show that the sculpture was created about 130,000 years ago during the Middle Paleolithic period. The special symmetry and engraved patterns indicate that this is the work of man and not a random creation of nature. This find makes it possible to trace the development of art among the ancient ancestors of man, showing the transition from the creation of abstract forms to realistic images of animals. The Mystery of the Alec Ekan Monolith in the south of Nigeria, in the state of Cross River, about 300 stone monoliths were discovered, created from the 16th to the beginning of the 20th century. These monoliths, arranged in circles and made of volcanic stone, surprised with their diversity. Their height varies from 0.3 to 1.8 meters. What attracts the most attention is the unique carvings on their surfaces, which include repeating patterns, stylized faces, and mysterious inscriptions that may be an ancient form of writing. The local Ikoi people call these stones Atal or Akwanshi. Distributed among 30 communities, the monoliths often form perfect circles, becoming the centerpiece of settlement or the decoration of forested areas. Made primarily of basalt, the monoliths also include limestone and sandstone specimens, all carved with distinct human features and symbols reflecting tribal affiliation. These monoliths carry a deep meaning associated with the cult of ancestors. According to local beliefs, each monolith symbolizes an ancestor whose soul continues to dwell in the stone, connecting the living with the spirits of the departed. This tradition maintains connection between generations and respect for the history and culture of the Ikoi people. However, the monoliths are surrounded by many mysteries. Their exact history, the meaning of the symbols printed on them, and the purposes of their use have not yet been revealed. Despite many years of research, ancient inscriptions on stones remain undeciphered, posing a challenge for archaeologists and historians. The monoliths are currently under threat from weather, erosion, and vandalism, making their conservation a global concern. 
Secret Manhattan Project There is one type of weapon in the world, the presence of which radically changes the country's position on the geopolitical map of the world – atomic weapons. During the dark times of World War II, when the world was divided by terrible events, a group of eminent scientists gathered in a secret location to work on a project that could radically change the course of history. This project was called Manhattan – the mission to create the first atomic bomb. It was a race against time and science, where the stakes were higher than ever. The spark that ignited the Manhattan Project came from a small group of Jewish refugees who came to the United States seeking refuge from Nazi Germany. They warned that atomic weapons were being developed in Berlin. Surprisingly, all information about this development was open and available for study. But behind these great scientific discoveries and engineering achievements lay a deep inner struggle. Newly discovered personal letters and diaries of scientists who worked on the project provide new insight into their experiences and thoughts. These documents recount the doubts and ethical dilemmas must these men faced as they weighed the consequences of their inventions. In their notes, one can find questions about the morality of creating weapons of such destructive power and about the future of humanity after their use. Scientists ask the question, are we saving the world by creating such weapons, or are we opening a Pandora's box whose consequences cannot be reversed? These letters and diaries give us a glimpse into the souls of the people behind one of the most significant and controversial scientific advances in history. They show that even in the process of of creating great inventions, scientists remain first and foremost people with fear, doubt, and hope. The scientists worked under the guidance of physicist Robert Oppenheimer, who a few years later would be called the father of atomic weapons. Just recently, a movie was even made on this topic. Secret Bunker in the Ardennes in the shady forests of the Ardennes, where the echoes of World War II still resonate in the hearts and minds of explorers, a major discovery has been made. A secret bunker, hidden among dense vegetation and forgotten by time, has revealed its secrets after decades of silence. The bunker was found to have been used by German forces as a command post during the Battle of the Bulge, one of the Germany's last major offensives. The discovery of the bunker was an accident when a group of local historians were researching changes to the landscape caused by the war. Inside the bunker, maps, documents, and personal belongings of soldiers were found, providing invaluable material for study. The documents included strategic plans, command orders, and diaries, revealing details of the lives of the military and their views on the course of the war. Particularly striking was the discovery of encrypted messages believed to have been used to coordinate offensives and regroup troops. These documents gave historians new insight into the complexity of the Ardennes operations and the strategic thinking of the German command. Treasures of Königsberg Castle Königsberg, the historical capital of East Prussia, was once home to a magnificent castle built in 1255 by the Teutonic Order. The castle served as a residence for Prussian princes and kings and later for German emperors. Priceless works of art, historical relics, and a rich library were kept within its walls. However, the real interest lies in the fate of the treasures which, according to legend, were hidden in the castle or its surroundings in the run-up to the Soviet offensive at the end of the Second World War. These treasures include gold, precious stones, and unimaginably valuable artifacts and works of art that may have been stolen by the Nazis from occupied territories and hidden in the castle as the safest place. In April 1945, Königsberg was taken by Soviet troops and the castle was seriously damaged by bombing and was subsequently destroyed in the post-war years. All this time, the treasures were never found, which gave rise to many stories and speculation about their possible whereabouts. For decades, archaeologists, adventurers, and scientists have tried to uncover the mystery of Königsberg Castle's treasure, excavating the ruins and studying archival documents in hopes of finding clues. Some research has led to the discovery of underground passages and rooms, but none of them have confirmed the presence of lost treasures. Today, the location of the treasures of Königsberg Castle remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the 20th century, continuing to inspire researchers, writers, and adventurers to new searches and discoveries. Worth its weight in gold. Mexican scholars recently invested 9.5 million pesos in acquiring three unique documents from the late 16th century. The investment opened a new page in history, providing valuable information about the period of the Spanish arrival in the lands of modern Mexico. We are talking about the Codex of San Andres Tetapelco, compiled at the turn of the 16th and 17th centuries, which vividly illustrate the events of that time, including the reign of Itzcoatl, the fourth ruler of Tenochtitlan and founder of 
of the Aztec Empire and the arrival of Hernan Cortes. These rare codices were purchased for the National Library of Anthropology and History through the efforts and support of individuals and organizations. A payment of 9.5 million pesos allowed them to be returned from private hands to the public domain. The analysis showed that the codices were created from amet, traditional paper made from tree bark, with the use of natural dyes, which emphasizes the high skill of their creators. The authenticity of the documents was confirmed through collaboration with experts from various scientific institutions. The San Andres Tetepilco codices stand out among other artifacts because of their unique combination of indigenous traditions and European influences, containing texts in Nahuatl and Spanish written in the Latin alphabet. This treasure provides an opportunity to delve deeper into the study and understanding of a key period in the region's history. Rack of USS Indianapolis the USS Indianapolis, a heavy cruiser of the United States Navy, has gone down in history as one of the most tragic naval disasters of World War II. In July 1945, after carrying out a secret mission to deliver components of an atomic bomb intended to be dropped on Hiroshima, Indianapolis was sunk by a Japanese submarine in the Philippine Sea. The event resulted in the death of more than 800 of the 1,196 crew members, many of whom died from dehydration, shark attacks and injuries within five days before the survivors were located and rescued. For many years, the location of the wreck of the Indianapolis remained unknown, making it one of the most famous and wanted shipwrecks of World War II. That would change in August 2017, when a team of researchers led by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen discovered debris more than 5,500 meters deep in the Philippine Sea. The discovery of the wreck of the USS Indianapolis was a significant event, closing one of the most tragic chapters in the history of the US Navy. The discovery of the wreck also highlighted the role of modern technology in maritime archaeology in the study of underwater shipwrecks. The use of deep-sea equipment and advanced technology has allowed researchers to reach places inaccessible decades ago, opening new chapters in history and providing unique opportunities to study the past. Graphite Phallus and now another story about the phallus, at this time graphite one. In northern Mongolia, at the archaeological site of Tolbor 21, scientists have discovered an artifact that is already 42,000 years old. And you know what? This is the oldest symbolic phallus in Eurasia. When Alexander Fedorshenko, a specialist in the study of traces of human activity, first saw the object under a microscope, he immediately realized that it looked like a phallus. But other scientists did not believe him at first. They thought that it was just an engraved stone. After doing research, they found that the item was broken and used as a pendant. An interesting fact, guys. The object is made of graphite, and the nearest deposit of this mineral is located at a distance of 100 kilometers from Tolbor 21. Here's a riddle for the detective of archaeology. But the most important thing is that now this is the oldest image of the phallus in Eurasia and the only phallic pendant in the world from the Paleolithic era, discovered in a layer of earth that is already 42,000 years old. Scientist Evgeny Rybin clarified that this discovery shows that already in those ancient times, gender signs, both male and female, played an important role in human symbolism. What are the mouth of truths silent about? The Mouth of Truth, Boca de la Verita, is an ancient marble sculpture depicting the deity of the ocean and dates back to the 1st century AD. With a diameter of 1.75 meters and a weight of 1,300 kilograms, this relic may date back to Roman times, serving as a manhole or element of a fountain given the tradition of depicting river gods on such objects. Over time, this sculpture has turned from an ordinary architectural element into a mysterious object surrounded by mystical legends. The story of its ability to cut of the hand of a liar became especially famous. According to one legend, a woman accused of infidelity managed to save her hand, loyalty and honor using cunning and feminine deceit. The first mention of this artifact dates back to the 11th century and it received its current location near the Church of Santa Maria in Cosmodon after being moved in 1631. But the Mouth of Truth was brought worldwide fame by cinema, in particular the film Roman Holiday, where Gregory Pack and Audrey Hepburn experienced the magic of sculpture, turning it 
it into a symbol of Rome and a source of inspiration for many cultural works. Today, the Mouth of Truth is considered not just an ancient artifact but also the most photographed sewer in the world, attracting thousands of tourists who want to test the ancient belief for themselves. In the previous video on my channel, I talked about unusual archaeological discoveries from the Second World War. These discoveries have the potential to rewrite the history of that time. I highly recommend watching it if you haven't seen it yet. See you in new videos.